We're using Motilde to look at cross-site framing and how to keep your site from being loaded in the frame of a, another site. So in cross-site framing, there's a demonstration in Matilda under the click jacking that shows what another site could do or might do if it were framing your site. So in this example, an invisible click jacking button is placed over top of the Matilda page and regardless of where the mouse is moved the invisible area moves underneath and then if you click on it it says that the page has been hijacked and then redirects the user to the Iron Geek site. So this is just a demonstration and is relatively harmless but if you were to put an invisible login form over top of a framed login form or an invisible uh, button over top of the submit button other things could be done so what sites can do to prevent some of this is to keep themselves from being framed there's a page in Matilda called cross-site framing that's used for demonstrations so as we can see in this case the framer has got Matilda loaded inside of an iframe and it's loaded up the home page of Matilda index.php now, if we go back to Matilda and then move Matilda into security level one by hitting toggle security, then go back to the framer again. Matilda loads into the frame and then something different happens this time. Matilda breaks out of the frame and becomes the top page. This is due to a what's known as a frame buster. It's a snippet of JavaScript that's activated in security level one. Include frame busters uh, causes some code to be loaded, and it's just a little JavaScript that checks to see if the current page is on top, and if not, it does a redirect. Somewhat effective, and it was used for a long time because until uh, newer IE7s and Firefox 3.5s, there wasn't another option. Now, if you put Matilda into security level 5 and then go to the framer page, something again different happens. So, this time the framer page loads and Matilda Day actually never loads inside the frame at all. This is a little bit different behavior than the JavaScript frame buster code. And this is due to Matilda Day having the X frames options header written as an HTTP header with a value of deny. The X frames option header in newer browsers tells the browser that if the current site is being framed to refuse to load the page but it wasn't available in the older browsers and the frame buster was the best method at that time nowadays we can use both the header and also the JavaScript frame buster to prevent the site from being framed as best as possible